Alright, there is a sale happening in Champions Arena, so I'll be talking about the sale details and I'll also be sharing my thoughts. This is going to be the first sale happening in Champions Arena. It's not going to be the only one, so expect more of them to come. This sale involves two specific NFTs, the Nexus and the Estate. First, I'll be talking about the Nexus. So the Nexus is what's going to allow players to rent out their Champion NFTs to other players. In order for you to completely understand what the purpose of this is for, I'm going to have to talk about how play and earn is expected to work for this game. There is no white paper for the game at the moment and we don't have numbers on how play and earn will work. Like I can't tell you exactly how much you'll earn from this game. It's impossible to know at this moment because it depends on different variables. The play and earn I would say is very similar to how Spider Tanks does their play and earn. So in Champions Arena, there's going to be an arena where you face off with other players. Now, when you use your Champion NFTs in this arena and you win, then you'll get victory points. These victory points will determine the share of Gala you will receive the next day. There are different variables that determine that share of Gala, such as how many victory points you got how many victory points were earned in total that day by everyone, and how much money was actually spent in that game that day, or on average, the past couple days. So, play and earn revolves around victory points in the arena, and that requires champion NFTs. So, the Nexus will allow you to rent out your champion to another player, if the player wins in the arena, they'll get a share of victory points and the owner of the NFT will get a share of victory points as well. So the way I see it, there's three different types of players. First is going to be those who don't spend any money who, and who don't own any NFTs. So they're going to rent out uh, one from somebody else. They'll get a share of victory points and then the owner of the NFT will get a share, just like I explained. Next player is going to own champion NFTs, but they're not going to own a Nexus. So they'll use their own champion NFTs in the arena and they'll get the full amount of victory points from their champion. They're not splitting it with anyone else because they own it. Uh, since they don't own a Nexus, they're not able to rent their own champions out. And then the third one is those who own a Nexus. Now, if you own a Nexus, it's assumed that you're going to also own champion NFTs. So that player would rent out their champion to other players. And I already explained how that works. So that's the way I see it. Uh, those who own a Nexus will essentially have the ability to passively earn from this game. Because they could have a champion that they don't want to use, so they'll just rent it out, let other players use it, and they'll just get... Uh, victory points that way they could also decide that they do want to use their champion themselves in the arena that way they'll get the full amount of victory points from it uh, but i'm sure at some point the nexus owner will have multiple champions they'll just be able to rent one out and they'll be able to use the other ones themselves so nexus is what's going to let you rent out your champions now uh, another thing about the nexus is the Nexus will qualify you for free Legendary Champion NFTs, and this is very important. So, for this sale, since it's the first sale for the Nexus, whoever purchases one will be getting a free Legendary NFT Champion. This first one is going to be called uh, Veronica, a champion called Veronica. So, she's probably going to be very special because uh, since this is the first sale, not everybody's going to be buying a Nexus. There's not a uh, big player base for the game at the moment since it hasn't officially launched so only a couple of people will get veronica um so moving forward they are going to have more nexus sales so the next time they sell a nexus they're going to have another legendary champion nft for whoever decides to purchase a nexus that time but all the people who already purchased a nexus and they're still holding on to it well, they're also going to qualify for that free legendary champion NFT from the next sale. So let's say they had, um, let's say you had a Nexus and they had a total of four sales this year. Well, as long as you bought your Nexus on the first sale and you continue to hold it, 
you would get a total of four legendary champion NFTs from it uh, by the end of the year, assuming there was four sales. So let's say this goes on for five years, so that means there was 20 sales, but then you would get 20 legendary champions from it. And that could be pretty valuable, like you constantly get free legendary champion NFTs. So with all that explained, I should probably talk about the actual sell details. So the Nexus was going to go on sale for the standard price, but they just recently announced on the Gala Games Discord and the Champions Arena announcements that there's going to be a 30% discount to whoever buys the Nexus in the first five days. So whoever buys the Nexus in the first five days will be able to purchase it for $1,365. That's with a 30% discount. After that, it's going to be standard price at $1,950. So the 30% discount is for the first five days. But after that, the sale is only going to go on for like another three days before it ends. So the way I see it, anybody who is planning on getting a Nexus, they're going to get it while it's 30% off and not while it's standard price. That would be very silly for somebody to purchase it at standard price. Now this sale is going to put 300 in supply. Honestly, I don't think they're all going to sell. I could see maybe 100 selling, but not 300. Um, but moving forward, they are going to have more Nexus uh, sales happening. And the way that's going to work is they could mint more of them. So just keep in mind, the Nexus is not limited to just 300. They could, they will probably mint more of them. Uh, so this has an inflating supply from my understanding the um, cost will either be the same as the last sale or will increase so if they do decide to have another nexus sale uh, the cheapest you can expect to see it is $1,950 but depending on how well this sale went goes um, the price could increase for the next sale now, yeah, the next sale will still have its own incentive of a free legendary champion, but whoever owns a Nexus now is still going to get that free legendary champion from the next sale, just like, uh, just like I explained. So it would make the most sense to get a Nexus from the very first sale if you were planning to. Personally, I don't plan on getting one just because I can't justify the cost. But I do see that it has potential to actually return enough value for it to be more than worth it uh, but there's just a lot of unknown variables right now uh, I mean the game's not even out we don't exactly know how everything's gonna work yet so it's just the risk you're taking if you decide to buy one if for some reason you know that you want one but you just wanted to wait until later problem is it makes the most sense to get it now but yeah it's just risk and reward I suppose and none of this is financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. I'm just sharing my thoughts. Just honestly, what I think. Uh, moving forward, I just want to talk about the estate. I don't want this to take forever. So the thing about the estate is if you even want to buy an estate, you have to buy the Nexus first. They made it a requirement. Uh, as soon as you buy the Nexus, you're whitelisted to buy the estate. So don't even think about the estate unless you're thinking about the Nexus first. Uh, anyways, the estate is basically like land for this game. Or kind of like a... more like a building, I suppose. Uh, if you own an estate, you'll be able to run your own guild in the game. And that guild has uh, different benefits. So you're going to have your own summoning altar where players can go summon champions at your altar you're also gonna have your own trade market where players can trade in your trade market and it appears that you'll have different buildings such as a smithy and um uh, something else but i we don't know what those actually do yet as of this playtest so what we do know is that the summoning altar has a fee so every time some somebody summons a champion in your summoning altar You'll collect a fee from them and you'll basically keep those gems. Well, really, you can decide to do whatever you want with those gems. You can keep them for yourself or you can share them with whoever is in your guild. Uh, the other thing is the trade market. Uh, every time somebody trades in your trade market, they have to pay a fee. And same thing, uh, those gems are stored in the guild. You decide what you do with them. 
uh, it's a guild, so you'll have guild members, and you can adjust the fees for the guild members. You can set them lower as a perk to encourage them to uh, participate in your estate summoning altar and trade markets. And you can even set them lower for specific members, not just all the guild members, but specific members in particular if you want to give them additional benefits. Uh, they said that the guild will support 20 members at the start, but it can be upgraded to support a max of 100 members. And yeah, the, uh, the estate is basically required to run your own guild. If you don't have an estate, you won't be able to run a guild, but you will be able to join one. Now, from my understanding, the estate is not required for play and earn, and it seems like you won't actually be able to play and earn from it, at least for now. Don't know if that's something they'll introduce in the future. Uh, really, what the estate's going to help you do is uh, assemble a guild of players to help each other out, but also let you collect gems from players, and you can use those gems to strengthen your own account just spend gems buy whatever you need summon more stuff so yeah spend all those gems to strengthen your own account to help you in your arena or use those gems to share with guild members and that way you strengthen all of your guild members equally i suppose uh that it seems like that's what the estate's gonna do just supply gems to give you an advantage. It's not actually going to give you any victory points or gala per se. Uh, so it's an indirect advantage uh, to your earnings. Now the sale details for the estate. It's going to go on sale for $2,000. That's not going to have a discount. Uh, it's going to be 300 in supply, just like the Nexus. I do not know if they're planning on selling more of these. It doesn't sound like they are, but th then again, this is like an ancient rarity estate. Uh, so they could sell others at a lower rarity. It's possible. Not completely sure. Just those details are not released. Uh, the Nexus is also an ancient NFT. The, the champion NFTs that you get for free are considered legendaries. Um, so yeah, both the Nexus and the Estates can be purchased using Gala, Ethereum, or a credit card. So yeah, you could use your credit card to buy both of these. <laughs> that's pretty crazy that they're doing that for such high ticket items. But there you go, that's an option. Um, I'm not getting the Estate because I'm not getting the Nexus. And even if I did get the Nexus, I don't know, two grand on an Estate is a lot. Um, you know, I'm not even going to consider that. I don't know if it's good. Uh, it's really hard to tell. The Nexus? Don't get me wrong, the Nexus has potential. But the Estates, I really can't tell. I have no idea. I suppose if you started a guild and had the best top active players, you probably get the most gems out of everybody else. Um, and maybe if you marketed your estate or shared it with a whole group of other players you know in your discord guild i suppose they could participate in that estate and um all those people summoning and all those people trading in the trade market you'd get so many gems out of that uh so it really depends i think the estate depends on if you have a community or a good guild in order to actually take advantage of the perks Otherwise, I don't really think it's worth it. Uh, but yeah, that's all the sale details. That's everything that I could explain. Video is kind of long, just me talking. But, you know, I try to explain everything as well as I could. Uh, if you found this helpful, consider leaving a like. And definitely leave a comment on the video. Let me know if you're planning on buying one of these. Or if you have additional questions. Oh, do you think they're worth it or not? Yeah, uh, feel free to subscribe if you haven't done so, so you don't miss out on any of my content. If you are planning on buying any one of these, uh, you can use the link in the description of this video if you want to help support the channel and the content I create. Totally up to you, but I would greatly appreciate that. And with that said, I appreciate all your support and I thank you for watching.